I've got one of the newest radios from Futaba. Let's unbox this thing and dive right in. Hey guys, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com and today we're taking a look at the brand new Futaba 4PM radio system. Now, of course, this is Futaba's newest 2.4 gigahertz telemetry style radio system with four channels and a lot of other bells and whistles that we'll go over in this video. Now, also stay tuned in this video, we'll be checking out a couple of my other Futaba radios so you can kind of compare the 4PM versus some of the other higher end radios from Futaba and make a good decision on your next purchase. Now, the 4PM from Futaba is right in the middle of Futaba's lineup. Not quite an upgrade to an RTR remote like the 3PV, and not quite the high-end radio like the 7PX. Those are two totally different radios on different ends of the spectrum. Where the 4PM kind of falls into place is that good midline radio system. So if you're upgrading from an RTR, you'll get a lot of bang for your buck out of this system. Now, like I said earlier, this is a TFHSS system. So basically the T stands for telemetry. Although note telemetry sensors actually come inside the box. This is capable of hitting all of your telemetry and the radio can actually report all of those different sensors. Looking further on, this is also super response capable. However, the included receiver is not. So if you wanna use that particular feature, either with the radio system or with future Futaba SR service, servos, you would have to upgrade that receiver to a little bit different one. Some of the key features of the 4PM, of course, like I said, 2.4 gigahertz, and it is a telemetry system. High response system or SR mode. You do have mini Z mode. You do have a backlit screen. It does have different links and S bus servo link functionality. Advanced braking system, which is basically ABS. Throttle acceleration, programmable mixing, and we get into some of the more programmable features like four wheel steer mixing, gyro mixing, dual ESC mixing, 40 model memory, 10 character model names, you can name it whatever you'd like, adjustable throttle position, and of course a micro SD card slot for updating your system. Here is a quick look at the model number, but as always, I'll have a link down in the video description so you can check out the pricing for yourself. Now also note, this is an RX R304SB receiver that's included, which is not the SR mode. So if you do plan to purchase this, make note of that. Inside the box, you'll receive a little toolkit, which includes two Allen keys and a flathead screwdriver, an owner's reference card and warranty registration, the 4PM owner's manual, and they're calling this the short manual. They're always known for having quite thick manuals. The included receiver is the R304SB. This is a telemetry capable receiver. And finally, the T4PM, which is their model number or better referred to as the 4PM. One of the best things of any new electronic purchase is peeling this thing off. Taking a quick tour around the 4PM, of course, it's highlighted by the huge display up here. Now, in layman's terms, this is about two and a half inches in total height and about an inch and a quarter in total width up here. Now, moving on down, we do have the power button, which is kind of that chrome accented piece up here. Here you do have that kind of rubberized scroll action kind of joystick to kind of move around with your thumb. You do have a couple of edit buttons on here, both the minus button button on the far left, the plus button, and the end button here at the bottom. On the side of the 4PM, we do have a two position switch right here, which is pretty nice. The wheel is quite nice. I, I've got to admit, this is one of Futaba's larger wheels, although not the largest, but it's definitely larger than the small wheel they include on some of their radios. The foam is very, very nice. It's always nice to kind of feel a new foam on a radio system. You do have trim controls for channel two, channel one, and channel three up here on the very forward of the wheel. And then finally, you do have a rotary switch that you can assign to different functionality of the radio. On the very front of the radio, you do have a fixed shark fin antenna up here. On some of the previous radios, and I'll show that a little bit later, they had a, like a, a flip up feature of the antenna. This also has a couple of stand features right here. So if you're standing the radio all the way down, so you don't knock it over, which is a nice feature. 
On the far side of the radio, you do have a micro SD card slot reader right here to update your radio system. You do have a communication port that's basically a receiver plug, and you do have a charge port if you choose to install chargeable batteries. Looking at the underside of the radio, of course, the trigger, which is classic Futaba, and you have different controls up here to edit the throttle functionality. So you can control how much slide and tension and other features of the trigger. And you do have a couple of trim features up here labeled DT4 and DT5, and you do have that last switch right there for the 4 p.m. Now, one of the biggest surprises for me on the 4PM was the battery box. Now, just sliding this thing open, same size as all of the other Futaba radios, but it only takes three AA batteries, which is something I wasn't expecting. Typically, it's four batteries. So you'll have a voltage reading on this, around four volts or so, and it is capable of also running a lifey battery, but I'll have to check on the actual specs of the battery you'll need. Typically, they're like a 2100 milliamp, and I'll see if I can get my one from my 7PX into this one and see if it'll function. Turning on the 4PM is pretty easy. Just simply hit the power button, hold it down. Got it all fired up and ready to go. 4.6 volts with some fresh AA batteries is what it'll read off as. With the studio lights off, you can definitely see the backlit screen, which is a nice feature on the 4PM. Diving into some of the menus of the 4 p.m. Right here, we have four pages of menus, uh, starting with a ton of different things that you can control. Uh, exponential speed, throttle, reverse sub trim endpoints, dual rates, channel three and channel four. Going into page two, uh, model select, name, copy, uh, tons of things on here. You have your S bus control right there. Fail safe for some of your nitro vehicles, your receiver programming right there. Channel three goes into all of the different mixings like steering mixing, brake mixing, gyro, four wheel steer, dual ESC, pretty much all of your crawler type of things that you would want to run with this particular remote. And finally on channel four, you do have your timer, your telemetry, your log data, and just some of the other bits and pieces of this radio system. Comparing the 4PM over here on the far left to the 4PV and finally the 7PX, you can really see the differences in the radios, but then also a lot of the similarities. You have the scroll function up here on all three radios, nice large screens. However, the 4PM is just slightly smaller than the 4PV. All of the power buttons are in similar positions right here on the center bottom of all of the screens. Looking down the line with the 4 p.m. at the very end, you're seeing all the different sizes of these radios. Of course, the 7PX with the large text screen just sticks out further than the other two, but the 4PV and the 4 p.m. are very similar in size. A couple of standout differences between the 4PV on the left and the 4PM on the right is, of course, the antenna. This fixed shark fin antenna is definitely different than the flip-up antenna right here on the 4PV. Looking at the side of the two radios, you gain one and lose one on each radio. You do have a headphone jack here on the 4PV, which you do not on the 4PM, but you do have an SD card slot for updating your radio on the 4PM, and you do not on the 4PV. Looking at the front of the two radios, 4PV and 4PM, you do have a position right here to mount a lanyard, which is pretty nice, especially for crawling and those type of events. Or if you're just tired of holding it, you just let it dangle in front of you, which is a nice feature. Like I mentioned earlier, the 4PV, of course, four batteries, 4PM, three batteries. Now, with exception to my aftermarket wheel right here that I added to my 4PV, two other things that are kind of like standout differences between the two radios. Of course, a little bit larger screen right here on the 4PV versus the 4PM. The scroll wheel here on the 4PV just seems to be a little bit more intuitive. This one just seems a little bit more plasticky than the 4PV. And finally, the 4PV does come with a rubber back handle right here, which is pretty nice. The 4PM is just all plastic.
Well guys, that is my quick look at the brand new 4PM from Futaba and some comparisons between some of their other radios. Now, who is this radio intended for? Well, I think it will reach a broad audience. It's someone that's kind of tired of that old RTR remote and they want a little bit more functionality out of their radio system. It's gonna get you that nice upgrade and get you into kind of that mid-level, race-level type of radio. Now, the 4PM does have the feature of the super response with an additional receiver that you can purchase so you can kind of unlock that feature of the 4 p.m. and finally it's going to give you lots of bells and whistles for a three and four channel remote and some programmability with different mixings and that kind of stuff for this remote system. Well guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making this thing. I do enjoy making videos for you guys and sometimes I can't make them all the time, but when I do get a chance, I love turning on the camera and getting behind some good RC content. Well guys, that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Always love new subscriptions out there. Well guys, that is it for now. Comments, questions down below, and as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.